Welcome to another Honors Physics video lecture. Today's topic is center of mass. This is an important topic because objects naturally rotate about their center of masses. Therefore, it is important to be able to determine its location for compound systems. So we will begin by looking at three masses. The first one will have dimensions of one meter by one meter and will have a mass of 10 kilograms. The second will have dimensions of 0.6 meters by 0.6 meters and a mass of six kilograms. And the third one with dimensions of 0.4 meters by 0.4 meters and a mass of four kilograms. When we compound these systems and join them together, they will collectively have a different center of mass. To begin, it is important to establish an origin. In this scenario, I'm gonna take the origin to be at the corner of the red box as indicated. This way, everything will be in the positive value for the first quadrant. Mass one had dimensions of one meter by one meter. Therefore, its center of mass will be located at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, given our coordinate system. The second mass, had dimensions of 0.6 meters. So its center of mass would naturally be at 0 0.3, 0 0.3, but given that it starts at one, its center of mass will be at the point 1.3, 0.3. The third mass with dimensions of 0.4 meters by 0.4 meters can be looked at as being 1.6 meters over and then coming back 0.2 towards its center of mass and its center of mass in the y dimension will be the 0.6 plus the 0.2, giving us a dimension of 1.4 and 0.8 for the coordinates of its center of mass. In order to establish center of mass, let's remind ourselves of the masses of each of these objects. The formula is expressed this way. In order to find the location of the center of mass in the x dimension, you need to take each mass times its x coordinate of its center of mass. Add those together and then dividing by the total mass. So for this example, I will have the 10 kilograms with a center of mass in the x dimension of 0.5, the six kilogram mass at the 1.3 mark, and the four kilogram mass at the 1.4 meter mark divided by the total mass, which in this case will be 20 kilograms, giving me a location of the center of mass of the combined system to be 0.92. The Y center of mass looks similar, except we exchange the X coordinates for Y coordinates. Doing the same thing, yields a Y center of mass of 0.5 meters, giving the new system a combined center of mass at 0 0.92, 0 0.5. Now I would like you to try one final example. Reminding yourself of the three masses and their sizes, using the configuration laid out on the right, establish the center of mass, and answer this on the form provided. Good luck.